At Justin Premium Storage, our family-owned company provides a convenient and secure building for all of your storage needs. We now offer outdoor covered parking for that antique car, boat, or RV. Due to our recent expansion, we offer units that range in size from as small as a bedroom closet to as big as a one-car garage. All of our units are inside and climate controlled with 24-hour access and security. Our leases run month to month, so you're not locked into a long-term commitment, giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call, 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. Be cool, clean, and secure. This is Sammy Dixon at the all-new Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. If you haven't had a chance to come see our new state-of-the-art showroom, then there's no better time than right now. While you're here, take advantage of huge savings on new Ford trucks. Get more than $10,000 off from select new F-150s while they last. You must hurry. They're going fast. Over $10,000 off on the best-selling truck in America for 39 straight years. You can also take advantage of money-saving low, low interest rates on new and certified pre-owned vehicles. Our new bigger showroom means more inventory and that means bigger savings for you come to the house at good service bill and buy from mike birch ford and we'll give you five free oil changes following 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty if you're looking for an incredible deal on a new or pre-owned vehicle from the dealer who has always put you first stop the search call the all-new mike birch ford in black Shear. this is sammy dixon saying thank you thank you very much for your business all right, one minute after 8 o'clock, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup. WIFO FM Jessup, good morning, Friday morning, 22nd day of April. Currently here in southeast Georgia, we have 66 degrees, getting up to around 83 today. 60% chance of showers today and tonight, but tomorrow for the weekend, becoming mostly sunny tomorrow and sunny on Sunday with highs in the low 80s. The Omaha River level is at 9.7 feet and falling. It is now time for the world-famous Butcher Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, by Jessup Premium Stores, located out here on the Waycross Highway, and by Parker Insurance and Realty on Macon Street in downtown Jessup. Bob? Uh, we got uh, we got a classic person in here this morning talking about classic cars. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, the classic cruiser show this weekend. A lot going on, but uh, Wade Clax is in to tell us all about the uh, event in downtown Jessup on Saturday from 9 to 2.30. Wade, always good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you, Bob and Butch. Good morning. Um, yeah, this is a, I think this is maybe our fourth year of uh, being downtown Jessup from uh, uh, Cherry Street, from Macon Street. Uh, Broad Street all the way down to uh, First Street, actually, will be blocked off. And historically, over time, unless we had a rainy, uh, a rainy Saturday like we had last year, it, it cuts the number back. But we're hoping to get at least 80 cars. And along with the ones that we have in our club, you know, we'd have like 90 something. We have we have exceeded 100 before. So hopefully the weather will be good tomorrow and we'll have a great time downtown. Um, well, it's cruising to the oldies. Our major sponsor this year is R and R Auto and Camper Sales. Um, best of Show trophy, the big trophy is Morton Collision. People's Choice, um, Sybils is sponsoring that, and uh, numerous um, local businesses around have contributed plaques and they've contributed a lot of door prizes. And we certainly want to thank those people. So it's uh, Saturday, April the twenty third. Time is nine o'clock to two thirty p.m. Um, we're going to have, as I said, best to show, people's choice, top five imports, top five pro street and resto, mod, resto mods or rods, if you will, top five rat rods, top five 92 to 2016 vehicles, and top 20 classics, 25 plus years and older, uh, top antique bike prior to 1986. I'll be there um, as a club member and also my old school entertainment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be offering the uh, the music and the PA system. Uh, we're gonna have door prizes, uh, 60 inch smart TV raffle. We've been selling tickets for those and we'll continue to sell those tomorrow. We'll have a 50-50 drawing and some local entertainment. And I'm not quite sure what that is, but we'll have great fellowship and shopping. And we want everybody that comes out to support your local merchants, particularly those that have uh, sponsored uh, trophies and plaques and um, also door prizes and all the local businesses along along cherry street there because uh, uh they support our uh, endeavor every year to be able to block the street off and you know most of them uh, most all of them are supportive of it particularly at this point in time all profits go to uh, jessup wayne county charities 
uh, Boys and Girls Club, Fairhaven Women's Shelter, 4-H Club of Wayne County, Hospice of South Georgia. In case a lot's going on tomorrow, and once again, the hours are what? Uh, it'll be 9 o'clock in the morning till, um, till 2.30 p.m., and there'll be some card judging will start taking place pretty soon, pretty early, and uh, they'll, that'll conclude around 11 o'clock, and we'll be giving the, the trophies out in the early afternoon. Okay, and so you expect a lot of a lot of cars and uh, items in there tomorrow, right? I do. Uh, the weather, I think the weather forecast has been the, the percentage tonight, chance tomorrow rain is, Yeah, tomorrow will be most, very low. Yeah, it's uh, partly sunny tomorrow. Yeah, so it should be. It should be pretty good. Good weather means that people from Valdosta won't mind leaving early to drive over here, you know, and but they, right. won't, they won't come if it's uh, wet roads and all that. Right. You know? Uh, the roads might be a little away from the night before, but uh, the weather during the day should be just fine. It should be, yes, sir. How far away do these cars come from in Michigan? They have close to 100 cars. Where they, where they are. Valdosta is probably probably the farthest. Uh, we have Statesboro. Some could come from uh, above Savannah. Uh, we have had some come up from Florida, but, you know, you really never know. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, uh, who, who wants to make the trip that day. And, Okay. Such as that. Uh, well, it's always well attended. Like I said, it's fun to go down there. We've been there several times. It's fun to go down and look at all the old cars. So, hope you have a good turnout. And like I said, the good thing is all the money goes to charity. This is a good thing, you know. And over the years, y'all been providing some nice checks to those charities. We've done up to five thousand dollars divided uh, between like four charities uh, numerous times. Uh, that's that's what it's all about. Is it's sharing. Uh, the love and joy that we have for our classic vehicles uh, with other people and raising money for charity. Mm -hmm. Well, good. And lots of prizes to be given away and all kinds of good stuff. Yes, sir. Wade Claxton in here with us this morning. Other than uh, the help running the uh, classic car show, what else do you do, Wade? Um, okay, I, uh, I own Red Bull and Wireless in Jessup, and mm -hmm. uh, I did some advertising. Right. With you guys and Bob and what was it? Call to the call yes, to the man. Right. Yes, right. Barn was called to the man. Yeah, and, uh, and y'all have done a great job with that for us. And yeah. I hope to be doing some more with you and maybe come out and talk about that one day. Okay. And uh, I've never seen so many a person with so many different looking type of rings on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's here's what happened with that. I used to be uh, most of my life I was kind of like average. And then one day, as I got further down the road, I realized that, you know, since I'm on the short end of the road, I just don't want to be average anymore. So I'm doing what I feel like I want to do for today. Oh, good. So I wear a lot of rings. And All right. You're taking that 60 <laughs> spirit and put it in the 2000s. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> and I, I'm a big uh, big Elvis fan, as you can see. Uh, yeah, 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 big Elvis, Elvis fan. Elvis sideburns going on. Yeah. And we participate every year over in Brunswick with their uh, Ultimate Elvis Tribute Contest. Oh, it's, do you? It's a big deal over there. Is it? Yep. What is it? Um, what, time of year? what it is, there's a there's a company that sponsors those all over the country. They have 20 or so Elvis tribute artists that compete mm -hmm. to win that event. The winners of that event go to El go to uh, Memphis in Elvis's death week in August and compete for the ultimate Elvis tribute artists for that year. Oh, okay. And that's a big deal. Now uh, in June, to uh, Cody Ray Slaughter is going to be over there in Brunswick for the for uh, Elvis Fifty Six event. We're going to that. Oh, okay. That's I cool. didn't know anything about that. That's great. It's, it's big stuff. Big stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that'd be fun to watch. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Well, good, good. We look forward to the Classic Car Show tomorrow in uh, downtown Jessup from 9 a.m. to 2.30. For folks, get on down there early and walk around and just admire uh, those classic cars from way back all the way to current. And you're going to have some current hot rods there, too? There'll be some current vehicles there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah some of those hot rods. There'll be some, uh, I think, a Mustang Club out of uh, Hinesville. Uh -huh. There'll be a number of those, and they're all real modern Mustangs and high-dollar cars. They'll be there, I think, too. Okay. We'll look forward to it. Always a good time. I'm going to have a good time walking the street, Cherry Street tomorrow, seeing all those good classic cars and talking about those cars back from the 60s and early 70s. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all come on. Of course, y'all have a whole bunch more than that. You'll have one. What's the oldest car you think you'll have there tomorrow? I really, uh, I would, I, I would just have to venture a guess, but uh, I think a couple of years ago, a guy out of Waycross was there with a, a thirty-something Ford or something yeah. like that, and it was very, very, very nice, nice car. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming in, Wade. Thank you. All right. All right. W I F O one hundred five point five FM in Jessup, the wing, the classic car show tomorrow in downtown Jessup on Cherry Street, from Cherry Street from nine a.m. until two thirty. Earlier you get there, the better. Well, the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce has got some big news. 
And uh, we got a big announcement coming up in just a moment. And they're in the studios right now in the green room. They're in the green room. Ken Fountain is bringing in the new person down there at the chamber right now. And they're beef out on the hallway. We'll have them on in just one moment. Wayne Memorial Hospital salutes its dozens of volunteers during the month of April, National Volunteer Month. The hospital auxiliary just volunteered over 16,878 hours of their time this past year at our facility. According to the independent sector, these hours equate to more than $392,000 donated in labor to our community. Coupled with their $25,000 cash donation for fundraisers, the volunteers' contribution this year to our hospital system tallies over $417,000. We're proud of each and every volunteer that greets you at the information desk, helps you in the gift shop or thrift store, transports patients in wheelchairs or beds, helps families in the ICU or one-day surgery waiting area, drives the courtesy shuttle, or works in the office. They are key to our success. This is Greg Jones, CFO of Wayne Memorial Hospital. Please join me in recognizing this special group during National Volunteer Month. Wayne Memorial Hospital, caring for the community. All right, Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM in just 11 minutes after 8 o'clock on this Friday morning, 22nd day of April. And, Bob, exciting news coming out of the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Well, as everybody knows, the search has been on for a new director, and Ken Fine has brought the new director with us to introduce her to Wayne County and let everybody know who the new director is. Ken, appreciate you coming in. What's your role with the chamber, first of all? I'm the chairman this year uh, of, the, of the Chamber of Commerce, and thank you, Butch and Bob, for allowing us to come here and we are excited you know the chamber's gone through uh uh several different directors we had dale and then dale got uh, snatched up by the idea which is a great thing and then uh, francis has been interim and now francis is moving on to uh bigger and better things and trying to pursue a different career so i uh, had another opportunity to go out for a search and uh, we set up a committee that uh search committee that was uh joy meets which is the incoming chair jimbo boykin and dale keith and and we added Dale, and a little later you'll, you'll understand why, but, but even though he's an IDA, we added Dale because we, we work so closely with the IDA, and they are our strategic partner. So I uh, asked Dale to be on this committee. Had a great search, had a lot of uh, great candidates uh, to apply, but we one that uh, the committee recommended because mainly the, the chamber experience and, uh, and what is uh, Miss Christy Carter. And so we're uh, very pleased to have Christy come on board. She'll start on uh, May the 3rd. and. Uh, and it was a full board approved her last week, and it's, uh, we're very excited. All right, and Chris, you got experience, as you mentioned, with the chamber. You've been with Glen County for quite some time. Is that correct? Yes, I sure have. Thank you, Butch and Bob, for allowing me to be here this well, morning. We're glad you're here because this is just the first of many times that you're going to be on the radio. That's so. good. That's I like right. that. And building relationships all is what it's all about. Uh, I'm with the currently right now with the Brunswick Golden Isles Chamber of Commerce, and I'm the membership director there for their services. Uh, I do a lot of multitasking going on, but um, basically I've, I've been there for, I would have been there four years July 1, so a little well over three years, and I've got experience with uh, uh, Douglasville, Georgia, the Douglas County Chamber, and then also with Carrollton, Georgia at the Carroll County Chamber. We have Wayne County ties. You knew this job was open, though. You're married to Rockford Carter, so you knew that job was coming open. So tell us about your family, things like that. Yes, uh, we have four girls. Riker, my husband, um, had four girls from another marriage, and um, I have no children, but I have four beautiful girls now, and I'm extremely excited to have them. And so I married all five of them. <laughs> <laughs> How long y'all been married? Uh, two years, two uh, years. Just like I think it was, it was the nineteenth. I do know the date, April nineteenth. <laughs> <laughs> but it was this past week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, tell us what you, how excited you are. What you know? What do you hope to do with the chamber? With the now? chamber here, well, I'm extremely excited. I, I'm ready to get to work and roll up my sleeves, um, learn about your programming, what we can add to it what we can tweak um and then you know with my previous experience at the chamber down there we've got uh i've got a lot of things that, uh, under my sleeve that i can kind of pull pull out so now you're uh, talking about how many members y'all have yes. down there in brunswick was how many we have 1200 members 1200, there we yes. have 300 here yeah and we have a staff of three and we're three supposed times. to have six for oh. the size of that chamber so that kind of tells you what's going on and they're um yeah it's it's pretty busy there, but uh, I handle educational programming, our ambassador program, uh, all the, we have ribbon cuttings, grand openings, we have a St. Simon's Yelling Council, I do all that. 
It's just a, it's Very a, busy. a, yeah, it's a lot. And we've got a huge event, a fundraiser coming up called our chamber experience. And Kent just said, um, with my experience, I was kind of thinking about the chamber experience. This is 22 years we've been doing that. And I've grown it considerably and I'm looking forward to helping with Taste of Wayne this year with uh, Mary Kate, Caitlin, mm -hmm. Mary Caitlin, yes. Yeah. Now, um, if folks want to uh, text in a comment or question for Christy this morning, all you have to do is to dial 912-427-3711 at any time on the Butcher Bob Show. If you got a question or comment, 912-427-3711. Somebody just text in, so excited for Christy. She will be a huge asset. Uh, assets for Wayne County. So you're going to be a few, uh, a huge asset. We feel that. You know, one thing she just mentioned is that they, they're supposed to have six on the staff and they have three. So uh, we don't have but one, you know, <laughs> and, and as a receptionist. And uh, so, you know, that's very appealing to us because we know she works hard. She so, works uh, hard. That's and, right. And she, and she mentioned, you know, they're, they're coming up on their chamber experience, which is their Taste of Wayne. We just had Taste of Wayne and a good opportunity to let everybody know we made more taste of wine than we've ever made this year right. uh, mary caitlin and her committee do a fantastic job you know it, it amazes me because you keep thinking that that it's going to get stagnant after many years you know how fundraisers get stagnant but but i think with the people come to ours to see what is going to happen i mean it, it, it's so decorated it's it's, you it's know, amazing it's, it's amazing decorated. what it is but uh Those guys did a good job we made thirty six thousand dollars this year which was five thousand over last year which is phenomenal for our small community and it and it's testimony to what we've got but you know christy what a, i really appeal to the committee and, and talking with the committee and, and 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 you know when we went to the full board with the committee's recommendation is is the experience in other places experiencing bigger chambers to bring to us you know we've got a lot of great programs you know going back from john put in the john riddle put into place lunch and learns uh, we just had our post legislative luncheon but you know to be able to grow and to add to we're very excited to have that and, and to have somebody from outside that's that's a local but but it's been working outside so you've been learning from a very experienced person down there in chamber i sure you? have I, i'm sure some folks listening to this show know willie woodside he's he's celebrated 30 years this year being there amazing so, um, i know he was there when i was chairman of wayne county chamber of <laughs> commerce and running run across paths with him so <laughs> yes. he's been there a long time we hope we hope 25 years from now, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Christy said, I didn't make 25 year commitment here. Now. <laughs> I do have to say, I'm, I'm going to definitely, in you know, a good thing is not traveling an hour both ways right. each day. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited to be here. I've been doing that for two years. So, yeah. And yeah. So you have another announcement as well, Sarah. I can't. I do. But one thing I want to, want to mention before, you know, we, we sent a press release to the, uh, the, the paper also. And, you know, when Christy's comment was, you know, one of her comments in, in it is that uh, she understands the chamber's role as a unified voice for businesses. And, you know, that's a, that, a lot of people say, well, what does the chamber do? What does the chamber? Chambers, as she said, a unified voice for, the, for businesses, but it's a quality of life also. We all want to live and work in a great place and have opportunities to learn and opportunities to do things socially. And that's what the chamber does. That leads us up into the other thing is the uh, last week also, the full board voted to uh we've been in talks with the ida the ida's got a great building it's a very big building from the outside it doesn't seem to look that big but until you get inside you realize and the way it's laid out so that they the uh, full board voted to uh go into a lease agreement with the ida we will take in the the front part of that building uh if you know about the building the uh the, there's the front door with the glass doors we'll walk in there there'll be a reception the current ida building that's correct tell folks where it is once again it's uh I don't know what street that is. Plum, Plum Street. There you go. Next to the old pick and save. The old health department when I was growing <laughs> yeah. up. So, uh, <laughs> side pick and save. Yeah. So, the old pick. Okay. But if you go in there, you you know, if, if you've been in since there's been some renovations from the chamber, but uh, you walk in and, in the front to the left, there'll be a wall taken out and there'll be a receptionist there. There'll be a, uh, some, re we've got to go through some renovations. The IDA was already going to do renovations. So, they've uh, been gracious enough to get in talks with us. And there'll be a big, uh, a boardroom there, which is something that's a very good big need in this community. 
we can't now at the chamber have a board meeting at our facility. And if you've been to the chamber, no, you have a very small board meeting. You can have the, you can have the executive, executive meeting. Board, that's about it. board has to meet in a meeting room, so usually at a restaurant. And somewhere. that's correct. And if someone wants to use uh, our boardroom, it's, it's, it's not a real good situation because the chamber director's office is right off of the boardroom and, mm -hmm. and the paper wall, thin walls. I've had experience, uh, in fact, I'm going to a grand opening today that of, of a business I helped start in Douglas. And we, we used the chamber's boardroom, I mean, 10 or 15 times to, because we had nowhere to meet. And that's what the, the IDA was going to do anywhere to, as, a, as somewhat of a business incubator. But it'll also be, be, be able to be used for the chamber. We'll be able to have meetings there. Christy will be able to walk if she gets a question right to her office to be able to get the information versus if we're meeting at the airport. And graciously, the county has let us meet there. But that's where we've been meeting is at the airport. And uh, so we're very excited about that. We're going to share expenses, utilities. It's going to be economically good for both. But the synergy is why we're doing it. The, you know, the IDA and the Chamber, that, that's our strategic partner. They're, they're, we're in line with each other. Like I said, we're there to support businesses and to help the IDA get businesses. So, so you all be in the same building there? It'll be the same building, but it'll be a lease agreement. We'll lease from them. We'll this will happen probably August, maybe after the renovation. Are they having to move their stuff? You said you're going to be up front. How's that going to work? They're in the back now. They're already in the yes, back, sir. and the, and and the, the front is, empty. is already empty. That's correct. Okay. There's a there's a different entrance for the IDA, actually a side entrance. The back was already renovated. Uh, the building is very, like I said, it's it's big enough to have other organizations to to come in down the road. This okay. building could house other organizations if it you know down the road if they. How many square feet do you know approximately you're going to have? About the same. I, mean, I know it's got to be bigger because the reason why you're moving. Yeah, I would think it, it's going to be a, a slight bit bigger. And uh, and but like I say, the conference room. If you threw the conference room in, it'd be a lot bigger. Okay, now the conference room that's going to be for y'all and the IDA. Yes. It'll okay, be both of y'all will be using that big right, conference and the room there. And yeah. the community. Yeah. Okay. And then right. have you know the technology and all the you know screens and all that good stuff. And but, the other question is, what will you do with the current chamber building that's been there and used for so long? The board also voted uh, last week to. Uh, to, to enlist Christy to at the proper time to start uh, uh, gathering information about leasing it. Okay. At, at the proper, you know, at, at right now we'll be leasing. What will happen down the road, I can't answer. But uh, but the leadership at this time wants to lease it and uh, and and go from there. Well, it's a good thing you'll be able to have uh, meetings and conversations without being. Well, you don't have to stop for the trains to come by. <laughs> Always before you have to stop the meeting. Okay, here comes the train. All right, now start the meeting back again. <laughs> and that is an issue. But you know, like I said, it's, it's the bigger thing is 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 working with the IDA yeah. and hand in hand. Uh, the IDA, uh, Dale's assistant now is Candy Harris, so you'll have that. Candy will be there. She works for the IDA, but you'll have a receptionist that will split. Uh, but it'll allow Christy to get out and and it's to, good and to do things, and it'll it'll be. Uh, you know, economic for the chamber, economic for the IDA, we'll split utilities. Uh, Dale's, you know, uh, I could say Dale was in on the committee that uh, recommended Christy, so uh, everything is going to be great there, and uh, he'll be able to help. Uh, but it is just a lease agreement. It's not a right. managerial agreement. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So the chamber will be moving over to the IDA building over there on Plum Street next to the old pick and save um, sometime in August and, and start leasing out the current building they're in right now. And uh, so that's going to be a good move. going to be good synergism there between y'all and the IDA and sharing the same same building. And if you got folks to come in that need to talk to both of y'all, they don't have to run across town or anything like that. They can just go down the hallway. That's right. And we'll keep the marquee and talk to Christy about that. You know, there's technology that because that we can, she can put what she needs on the marquee and all. Yeah, we hope, I we hope it's that. August. I don't want. <laughs> well, you say August. It'll be October then. Right. Right. <laughs> Somebody just uh, texted in. Where does the money go that is raised at the uh, the Chamber Gala for for um, uh, the Wayne, Taste of Wayne? You know, you, you make that, that money it goes back into that money goes to support the chamber, and that's a, that's a great question, and, and I appreciate that being asked because the chamber is a hundred percent voluntary organization. People like this radio station, like my business, all the other businesses that support the chamber. The chamber is not a government entity. It does not get money from government. It is all wholly member member driven funded, and, and that's why we have to yeah. do this so that we can uh, keep our membership down. If so we keep, keep your membership cost down, down so right. it costs less per member to have to join each year. The more that you can make at these events, the less you charge membership fee to the uh, to the members out there. And it works out really good that way. And that's why, you know, people say, you know, I know people think, well, 
you get sponsorship for all these or, these events. Bob goes to all of them. Your your lunch and learns, your general mm-hmm. membership luncheons, your post legislative pr- eggs and issues. The rem- reason we do that is to pay for them. I mean, that's how we pay for the for for the event because right. we we because not only do we have to pay for those events, but we got to pay. Christy wants to make a little money. She she wants nah, to pay. It's not a volunteer <laughs> job, Christy. You want to get you paid, know, don't you? Right. Well, you know, you got utilities. So, but it is a hundred percent membership driven. And and so this taste of wine right. goes in our budget. Without taste of wine, we would uh, we would have to increase membership and, uh, and membership fees. fees that's yeah, what yeah. You don't want to increase the membership fee. So if you can make the money through events, then you keep those membership fees down, which means more business can can join, which means we have more of a unified voice in the chamber for to help support business in the community. That's right. And I and I can't say enough about our businesses that, in this community that 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 go the extra mile for this chamber we have a great chamber and, and several years ago we started and christy's going to work on this i think a good bit in our membership but we started several years ago a chairman's club which is a higher level of giving it's you get some some advertising some perks but but really it's the business saying that i believe in the chamber and i want to do more for the chamber through my giving you know butch and bob the basically the chamber is setting the pace in other words we think of promoting um, businesses um with that advocate for Wayne County, uh, working with our city, state, county elected officials um, to keep Wayne County going forward and growing and bringing businesses in and and uh, helping them grow. Then we help them connect um, with other members. We, you know, the money for Taste of Wayne actually helps fund, like you said, all the programming that we put on. While you're out working and making money, we're making connection events and. Uh, forums and all kinds of whatever you know whatever y'all need while they're out working we're able to put all that together and then we help educate you with educational classes and that's something that you know I wanted to I've talked to the um, to the committee to the committee before and Kent yes um, is to poll our members and to see what what kind of educational programming they need what they want to help them grow their business and move forward so those are some things that that are on the table to to go forward with it. So actually, we set the pace is what I would you say. You set the pace. You we set, set the if pace wherever you to see a forward. growing economic community in terms of businesses growing, businesses growing, new businesses, you'll see a very vibrant, active chamber of commerce. It goes hand in hand. All right, uh, another uh, comment here, another praise for Christy. Uh, she will be great for Wayne County. She helped us. I don't know who us is, but you'll know in a moment. She helped us tremendously when we opened up our pool store on St. Simon's Island. Oh, I know exactly who that is. Who? That is um, Jerry Mullis okay. with Royal Pools. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Royal Pools right down here it, on 169. Yes. Great guy. All those guys are great. Um, they came down to the Brunswick Chamber and joined and... Uh, I just took them under my wing and helped them with their ribbon cutting grand opening, got the word out there, helped them, just uh, gave them a, we do a VIP list uh, where every, you know, you have all your tourism, your your uh, hospital board, all your city and county and state elected officials, you know, we hand them that with their emails. Mm-hmm. We, we do a civic list that we hand out and then there's a manufacturing list. So we have all those printed and ready to hand out to our members down there. So that's something that I think we'll, we'll more than likely have here. But uh, yeah, I gave that to Jared and uh, he was very excited about that. I sat down with him. I mean, I'm here to help you with your business. Um, we can help you. We are full of resources. The chamber is extremely full of resources connected with your Georgia Power, your AT&T, many businesses, many resources, the school system, the hospital, um, you know we're we're here for you you know when you can't get something done we're who you need to come to we might not help you solve the problem but we can get you to who you need to talk to okay i know when i was in coming chairman back in the late 90s uh we had our installation banquet we had one banquet back then installation banquet now we have taste of wayne and the legacy dinner coming up in the summer uh back then we had uh the the installation banquet that where the old officers go in the new ones come in so i also when i was incoming chairman for two weeks there i had the the uh the office staff down there keep a, a record of every phone call that came in and and did that and so during my talk to the chamber i said here's the kind of calls that we get at the chamber and people were just mm. amazed how the chamber is used for a resource not only for the businesses but for just about anything else that goes on in this community mm-hmm. yep 
And so um, we look forward to working with you, Christy. I look forward to meeting everybody and meeting the business community for sure. So uh, the event's May 12th coming up, the membership. We um, have a membership supper coming up on May 12th. It'll be at the Chamber Lawn there. If it rains, we probably will try to get into the uh, <laughs> depot. <laughs> but we'll do it. You know, that, the last couple of years we started this, and this is just come have a hot dog hamburger. All right. Uh, and, and we did it at lunch. We're trying this year to go to, to dinner just to – to maybe some people that weren't downtown couldn't get here at lunch. It's also being sponsored uh, this time by Ray and here. We're going to have Chris will be there to get to meet everybody, but also uh, Jack Perrette wanted them to, to introduce Clay uh, Betha as the operations new operations manager, and so he'll be there, and uh, and we're going to uh, to have that and have a good time. And then, as you said, the legacy there will be in July. Mm -hmm. And I also want to put a plug in. You know, we have our awards, the business leader of the year and the business year. Please, we need nominations. It's uh, it, If you just want to nominate somebody and want to do it in a on, write a letter, that's fine. Uh, have those things been mailed out yet? I haven't seen a ballot. Well, we don't. We, we The ballots were on the online. Oh, and, online. And, so, and, it, and, and the, the older ballot was a little <laughs> arduous, and, and that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. If you come by chamber find out what the awards are uh, we'll have a committee that'll select those awards right winners uh but if, if, if it got a little arduous in my opinion and you had to know more than the people knew about themselves somewhat mm -hmm. to nominate them that's not where we're going if you want to nominate bob if you'll write a good letter about bob and uh, tell us you know then then we'll take that and, and go to the committee okay so, all right so it's all online well it, the, the 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 form was online but but the uh but you know, now you can just drop it by the just chamber. Just drop it by the chamber. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you need nominations for all those award winners each year. There's the business leader of the year. What are they all? Um, there's several of them in there. Several of them. So, you know, just look online at the Chamber of Commerce website or go by the chamber and get the list from them. All right. Mm -hmm. Christy, once again, yes. welcome to the Chamber of Commerce Thank here. You. Now, when's your first official day? On my mother's birthday, May 3rd. May 3rd. Is that not great? Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> And folks, if you want to see Christy, uh, you, you, there's going to be different events going on. Plus, our Butcher Bob show is videotaped. Oh, so, nice. it, we, uh, yeah, it's about 20 to 30 seconds behind. See, yeah, there it is. And uh, and Jonathan, a little while from now, we'll have that on our website at BigDogCountry.com. BigDogCountry.com. Go to Butcher Bob show. Go to archive shows. And it'll be on there for at least a couple of weeks. But he'll put that on there sometime today. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. Okay. And I want to thank you again. Uh, you know, the Chamber uses the Butcher Bob show. And, and Bob's at every event we go to. Every one of them. Every we have. And we just appreciate y'all uh, doing everything you do. Because, you know, the chambers where we want to be a mechanism to try to bring everybody together and to uh, like uh, Chris said move this county forward so we okay. appreciate it all right, y'all have a good day. Thank All you. right, bye-bye. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by uh, Jessup Premium Stores located out here on the Waycross Highway by Parker Insurance.